Hey everybody, welcome back to more Early Mutations. I'm Hunter AFI, and we are taking care of week 144, Olnar New Year. Another repeat, but not a bad one. So, we have got lucky envelopes, mineral drops throughout the map, and fireworks. We have the enemies exploding when you, they die and creating fireworks, and cool, colorful displays. So exciting. Um, really not too much to say about this week. I'm going for a hero solo, he is going for a hero solo, and that's really about it. Not much else to say here. Get a couple more things, get some gas started. And really all we're trying to do is just get to upgrades and then move on. That's it. We're going to be getting gas from the drops here. So there's very, very little that I have to worry about. We're going to be getting a ton of mineral drops. So it's basically slim pickings without slim pickings, which is like amazing. I'm just going to start moving overlords across the map as well. There started. Let's get my evolution chamber started. And we'll move a couple overlords around the map. We also want to get a few. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I also want to get a few um, Knights Networks because that's helpful here. This and this. And just trying to get a few extra workers and stuff like that. A few extra overlords across the map. Again, just for vision. That's the only reason. Got nothing else to do with my money here. I might as well use it for something. And eventually we'll be getting into... Nidus Networks, but I have a little bit longer time before I need to get into them. Probably already knew that, but maybe he didn't. Almost done. It's a couple more. Last upgrade before Kerrigan even comes out. Roll groups. We are on end. Now back to it. I've come this Quick. You have my assist. Make it quick. No time like the present. My search continues. Our evolution complete. Sources. I've come this far. Wow, really? Wow, Speak. that's pretty sad. Haman's forces are moving upon a celestial lock. Where'd he hit those up? Okay. Control of it, the lock will begin to overload. We should make our move soon. And I think the amount of, um... Rockets has a direct correlation to the number of supply of the units. But I'm not sure. We have laid claim to one of the Celestial Locks. We must hold it until the others are ours as well. Sir. Amon has turned one of Alnar's constructs to his will. If you can, destroy it and free it from its ill fate. Yeah. Moving. Moving. Our allies are in We cannot claim the objective without our allies' presence. Speak. Assimilation aura is now ready. I've come. Another lock has now been activated. Operations uh, Drop a couple overlords there. Speak. I am the swarm. Amon's forces are moving to seize the celestial lock. Make 
make it. Join our ally to claim the objective. Only. You have my attention. Your queen okay. listens. Here. I'm only gonna get like one use of the um It's time to assimilate That's like the best use of um Kerrigan here. It's not anything else. It's simply just trying to make sure that you use the dash, because then you're not in the same spot as where the enemies are spawning. Oh, well, the fireworks are, fireworks, fireworks are spawning. You have my attention. Okay. No time like the present. Our allies' base is under siege. Get in there. Our allies the Immobilization wave is now Assimilation aura is Activating defensive Our allies are engaged in battle. Our allies base is under siege. Aggro away. Not really super stoked on how much health Kerrigan maintaining, but you know what, we're fine. They'll give me a little bit of extra. Here. Four of the five locks are under our control. Only one remains. Base is under siege. You have not. What is it already? Our allies' base is under siege. Oh, we cannot allow Amon's army to take control of this lock. Our base is under siege. We're just waiting for. Explain yourself. At last. My search continues. Seriously? Ah, oh, I hit that perfectly and I just didn't do it right. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. Alright. There again, whenever you're ready, I can use your help here. That was on me. I'll take credit for that loss there. Is under siege. Come on, Kerrigan. I need you. Online. Get your ass over here. Your effort Our base is under siege. Assimilation aura is ready. Yes. Your brood has encountered the enemy. Amon has taken a lock in his name. This cannot go unanswered. I am the sworn. 
Seems like we could use a defensive drone. The enemy is in my grip. Our slow enemy base is under siege. Amon's minions are contesting the wall. They will soon gain control of it. Our base is under siege. What is it? Okay. Slowly but surely we'll do this. Our base is under siege. Wow, he can actually knock back those things? I didn't think that was a thing. Our ally's base is under siege. That felt really fast. Slowly but surely. Alright, there we go. Not a bad hero solo. I really needed to make sure that there was more um, Omega Worms underneath me more often. It, it worked out fine. It wasn't like I was concerned with how much I had going for me because I really wasn't. Um, I should have hit that mobilization wave here and I didn't. I Yeah, anyways, life goes on. But um, it could have been a tad bit better if I had a couple things going for me, but we're fine. That was good. That was good. My partner was very active in his Griffin airstrikes because you have tons of extra minerals in that case, so you might as well use them. So that was good. And let's go ahead and check out the score screen. So um, one little quick thing that I will bring up and I will talk about. Um, so most of the time, if you just, um, uh, let's say you got forces, let's get a little bit bigger, bigger brush. So you got forces here, 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 and you're attacking moving in. And um, like this is Kerrigan. If you're just attacking and you're doing your little thing, uh, when this guy dies, it'll go here. But if instead you um, have forces, 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 and then you Kerrigan are here, you go ahead and take that and you dash through. Uh, you end up having all of the um, fireworks end up being there and you're already here. Um, so the leaping strike is great for getting away from things. Like again, you're Kerrigan here and a little thing hits here. You can leaping strike to this spot here. Ah. Um, and get away from things, but ultimately it's probably better you just dash through most everything. Unless you're dealing with like a Thor or anything that has a high damage thing or the bonus, that's another thing. But um, most of the time, just dash away from things. You don't usually have to do as much work to select the, the target where, um, you know, you're doing a jump. Um, again, Kerrigan's here. Um, you do a jump, you need to actually pick a location where most of the time you can just spam um, a dash and even if you're like going this way or this way as long as you're using rapid fire you're gonna move uh, where sometimes the leaping strike will get you into a position you don't necessarily want to be because you can jump so far plus um, you can leaping strike like let's say that this is your circle of leaping strike sometimes you end up like maybe choosing this location over here to jump to and then Kerrigan's got to walk a little bit to get to that spot to make it so she can jump and that'll leave you in a situation where maybe you won't be able to run away from things. You can see that most of that mission I was at low HP and I probably wasn't dashing as much as I should have. I probably wasn't doing these other things and the other thing is always constantly try to make sure that you have creep underneath Kerrigan because that gives her that little bit of extra heal that matters a lot. Anyways, thanks so much for watching Hunter AFI. Do hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and hit, like, hit that like button. And, you know, think about following the link below to um, be part of my Twitch. Follow there and you can watch me live. Hope you enjoyed.